Hello and good morning. I'm Reverend Amanda, part of the ministry team here at St Paninus in Crayford. If you know me, hi, good to see you. And if you're new, you're very, very welcome to join in this morning's Celtic morning prayer. As you can see, I've uh, moved again. So I'm uh, standing in front of the sanctuary and our crib scene as we await uh, Christmas. We've just had our fourth Sunday of Advent. Um, if you'd like the words that we're going to use today, they're available from supplinus.co.uk on our This Week and our daily prayer page. And um, if you'd like the readings, um, then they are Psalm 42, verse 8. Sorry, Psalm 40, verses 1 to 5. Hosea, chapter 2. Uh, verses 14 to 15, and Matthew 13, uh, verses 31, 32, and 44. So let us still ourselves as we uh, come to prayer. And don't worry about those readings, because I'll be reading those if you don't have them to hand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. One thing I've asked the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? You seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So we now have our first reading. Psalm 40, 1 to 5. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. You have multiplied, O Lord, my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you, for I to proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. And Hosea 2, verse I will punish her for the festival days of the Baals. When she offered incense to them and decked herself with her ring and jewellery and went after her lovers and forgot me, says the Lord. Therefore, I will now persuade her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. From there, I will give her her vineyards, and make the valley of Accor a door of hope, where she shall respond as in the days of her youth, and at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. And Matthew 13. Thirty-one to thirty-two and forty-four. 
he put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a, a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. The kingdom of heaven <clears throat> is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. <clears throat> we now have our reading from our daily Celtic prayer. Be prepared to give God time just because he matters. Give time for the relationship to develop and be rooted even more deeply in your life. Everything in me felt like saying, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. But instead I said, when will you come to me? I want to wait here with a perfectly kept heart, for I know your words give me life forever. As my thoughts were thus occupied, I found myself on the shore of the sea, and I took a grain of sand from the miles of sand about me, and held it in my hand. Then I knew that my desire for the presence of my Lord was like a little grain for smallness in comparison with my Lord's desire to come under my roof, for that was like the measure of the measureless sands. And as my thoughts followed this great thought, Jesus my Lord answered and said to me, with desire, I have desired to come to you. We now have our meditation for this day. Seven times a day, as I work upon this hungry farm, I say to thee, Lord, why am I here? What is here there? What is there here to stir my gifts to growth? What great thing can I do for others? I, who am captive to this dreary toil. And seven times a day thou answerest, I cannot do without thee. Once my son lived my life, and by his faithfulness did show my mind, my kindness and my truth to men. But now he is come to my side, and thou must take his place. We continue now with our prayers for others. So let us pray. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. And we pray at this time for all those known to us who suffer from mind, body, or spirit. In a moment of silence, we lift them to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. We pray for all those 
we have loved and see no longer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world, which Christ will judge, to the mercy and protection of God. Stir up your power, O Lord God, and come among us. Heal our wounds, calm our fears, and give us peace. Through Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. Now comes the end of our prayer as we say the canticle. So let us pray. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ is a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless you and keep you. And may he cause his face to shine upon you and all those whom you love. And uh, hope you have a, a good, healthy, peaceful Christmas. <laughs>